Okay, I'm back again. Um, I just wanted to share with you how I made the royal bluebell flower uh, that was on my layout. Um, the the cut file was actually from Penny Duncan Creations. If you go to her blog, um, you'll be able to um, find the cut file for her tulip. And it was such a similar uh, shape and the, the petal shape was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, the only thing is, is her tulip had six petals where the, the bellflower only has five. So I left the three together, although you have to do a little manipulating once you get it together because it's only five rather than six petals. But what you do is you do you follow the instructions like she has um, for her tulip. And first I did, um, I just inked up the edges a bit just to give it a little dimension. Uh, and this is ink it up royal blue Okay, and she shows you um, how to put the, the tulip together, and um, basically what you're trying to do is you want to use this little lip um, to glue. You want to put this together so that it's shaped rather like a triangle, these three petals, and then you take this little tab and you draw it around you just you draw it around and you glue it to the to the petal on this far side so let me just manipulate this a bit okay so it's going to look like that when you're finished so let me just put a little glue on that Okay, and that's what you have when you're finished with the glue. You have just this cone-shaped part. Sorry, I have glue all over me now. And so then, you just sort of turn the petals down, and I try to manipulate them slightly so that um, one of the petals is going to go between two of them and I just put a little glue in the back and it's going to go here in the join between those two petals and you just keep messing with it till you get it where you want it. And then the fifth one the fifth one will go here. I 
if I'm still in the frame. And then I took these, which were centers. Um, they actually come with a ball on either end, and I cut it in half. And I took three of the balls, and they were. I bought them at um, a bargain store, and um, they were silver. So I've painted them white. And then you just take, and I just glued them together at the tips. And then just put a little hot glue on there. And then place it in the center. And just sort of pull them apart a bit. And that's all there is to it. And they're really, really a pretty little flower. And that's the flower that I used on my page. And like I said, if you don't have a cutting machine, they're just an oval shaped leaf that's um, just slightly pointed on the tip. And it would be something, depending on how big your the flower that you wanted, you could just cut these, these out yourself and you could make them individual instead of having those three that were attached to each other. And you can just put them together this way. But I thought it made a pretty little flower. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.